The city is changing. I get extremely nervous with all this open carry and stuff going on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Weed. <laughs> I never really got into weed after my mother tricked me when I was younger. I know you can't talk to look at me, but I've always been a bit chunky. <laughs> yeah, I took up weed because my mother kept telling me that smoking would stunt my growth. She lied. <laughs> Instead, I thought I was going to be slim, but all I got was big and absent-minded. <laughs>
But it's all good, man. His appearances also include Last Comic Standing, Showtime at the Apollo, and Australia's The Footy Show, just to name a few. Tony's recent appearances at various venues have made him a comic favorite of international renown. Please welcome Tony Woods. All right, let's get into it. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Here at LNL, we always like to start things off with two specific questions. So let's get right into it. I want to know, I'll start with you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. What is your most embarrassing onstage moment? Oh, God. I mean, you, you can't, first of all, you can't say you're a comic unless you bomb. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I've, I've been, you know, some people, you know, you see some people that say, you know, I never bomb, I never bomb. Now, I was in South Carolina one time, and I was just getting off of a, a, a this is like when you, I don't know if you know, when you do movies, and people see you at the movie, they want you to be the person in the, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. in the movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I, ain't, I can't wear the big mama suit everywhere I go, you know what I mean? I can't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they wanted me to rap, so they did, they promoted me as like, you know, the rapper, and I'm like, I'm the comic, because I, you know, you, when you, movies and stand-up is two different things, yeah. that's two different muscles. So I was getting back on the road, I was around like, you know, I know I still look the same, this is cocoa butter and Jesus, that's why I look, I don't age. <laughs> but I was 20, like 24 at the time, and, <laughs> And what happened was, I'm, you know, I'm literally trying to just put my set together, and I'm in South South Carolina and place, so I'm at this club, you know, the Comedy House. Yeah. And, Columbia. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. So I'm doing the set right, and I literally, I mean, when I say like they, they, they was they was loving me when I first got out there, and I just I said one joke, the whole audience just started texting, and I'm looking around, <laughs> and I'm like, why they not saying nothing, right? So then, now, you know, black audiences, not like that, but when we don't like something, we literally, like, like, Gow, Arab, yeah. we, we gonna either, first we're gonna, we gonna get silent, then after silence, it's gonna, you're gonna get, hear that, that, <clears throat> that, boo, oh, boo. <laughs> you know how people get ready to boo, oh, yeah, you start hearing that, and everybody got up and started, I never in my life been so embarrassed because everybody got up and started walking around and they had a buffet in the back. It was so bad of a set that they was eating <laughs> while I was bombing. They just thought they was gonna watch it. So it was one of the most bad. But it was like five years ago. But that shows you what we do is not, you know, is no matter how fun you be in movies, no matter how you always gotta hit the pavement yeah. and connect yeah. with people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of my, that's my most sad. embarrassing. What about you, Tony? What embarrassing? Or, yeah, or, or embarrassing. Or what? I don't embarrassing. Know. Like I don't. I don't Sometimes I don't pay attention to the audience. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying I know it's like, okay, one time I accidentally ate um, a, some snacks of, uh, what is it, mushrooms, right? <laughs> but, now, no, I thought it was, they looked like dry bananas, and I ate them. And, my, and the other dude said, you got any more than mushrooms? Left? I'm like, no, they, they <laughs> bananas, they don't taste so good. This is because they was mushrooms. And, and I ate them, and then I, I don't know what happened on the show, but I went, like that, like a bubble, and then like I did all this stuff, and then the bubble went again. And I'm like, good night, and everybody was screaming and everything, and I, and I cannot remember nothing. Um, so it was mushroom, mushroom, but I didn't. I thought it was bananas. I thought it was dry banana slices. I, I had a whole bag of them. And people said I should have been dead, but I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. All right, let's roll right into the second question. So this is this is this is one of my favorites. If you could ask anyone, dead or alive, one question, who would it be and what would you ask? Let's start with you, Tony. Oh man. I I guess I asked Jesus, like, what happened? You know. Like I'm you know saying because there's a lot of different versions of what happened, what went on and all this stuff. But I, you know, it's like, you know. And I like to be the one to warn them. Say, come on, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they, they coming, dog. I, I don't want to hear all that quiet talk. Look, we gotta go, man. They coming for real, son. That dude right there, he just. <laughs> we gotta go. That would be Judas. Yeah, like he just, man. Yeah. Don't. I told you not to trust him. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. What about you? He took mine. Yeah, <laughs> yours would have been Jesus. Yeah. Who else? Oh my God! How can you give different than question that? though? What you gonna ask Jesus? Cause just everybody gonna say. How they change your face? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Is that the thing? Yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah. 
That was good. Like, what do you think about this? No, I, I like um, it. Yeah, that's it. Right, hey. Yeah, why ain't you use your real picture? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it look like all right. <laughs> We're gonna take a break. When we return, we'll be getting all up and close again with Brandon and Tony. Stay in your seats. We're coming right back. You're watching Laugh But Not Least. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No? No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 really? in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hi, I'm Kiana Faircloth, host of Studio 901. On Studio 901, we spotlight local, emerging, and established artists that are creating right here in the DMV. With us, you'll discover some of the area's greatest treasures, some of our best kept secrets, and hear some never before told stories about living the creative life. Join us on Sundays and Fridays at 9 p.m. on Studio 901, where we just might spotlight you. I'm Brandy Jackson, and you're watching Laugh But Not Least only on DCTV. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to make some juice. Looks good. You ready to try it? Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's OK. OK. I actually took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for ideas on how to get healthy together. Welcome back to Laugh But Not Least. I'm still here with Tony and Brandon. <laughs> all right, so I got a couple other questions. First of all, I want to know, that every comedian has their line, right? So is there anything that you will not joke about? Like, that shit just ain't funny. It just ain't funny. Ooh. I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have a line. No limits. Why it, would, um, go ahead. Subject wise or how you present it. I wouldn't do tasteless humor. That's my thing. I think if you don't have a clever approach to anything, you can you can touch any subject if you make it clever enough. You know, I had if you watch um and I you know if you watch certain you know, Pryor was great at taking the uncomfortable, vulnerable moments mm -hmm. and making it and putting it inside. So it's the way you approach he made a heart attack funny. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like when he is the way you you could is how you approach the jokes. And I, I don't think I really have a line if you do it with, with cleverness and you know a certain approach. So it's it's the same thing. It's like uh, you you can there's no you can joke about anything, uh, but you, you gotta know your audience. You know what I'm saying? Say 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 you uh, you in prison. You know what I'm saying? You in prison. You can, you can pretty you, you know what I'm saying? You can pretty much joke about. <laughs> You know, beating up a woman, and then I took a baseball bat, cross her head. Ah, that's funny right there. Boom! But you can't do that at like a at a gospel show. You know, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, so there is, yeah. there, like you said, there's no lines. It, it, it's maybe you personally certain stuff you don't want to, you don't joke about. Mm -hmm. Like I think, yeah. <laughs> you know well, how you present it. Yes, yeah, how you present it. Package it. When did you first know you were funny? Uh, yeah, honestly, you know, it's funny. I, I used to, my, the, the choir used to come up, and I used to stop the choir. My dad used to go, I don't even remember in church, they go to the back, and they, you know, they do the offering, and the preacher goes to the back, and then they come back out. That's how it was, and then my dad would, I'll never forget, I would grab the mic, and I would stop the choir, and I would start doing jokes. And, and yeah, that's, I don't know. From if that the pulpit. Was, yeah, I don't know if that was normal, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> I was the preacher's son, so I could do that, you know what I mean? So. Uh, so he said, that ain't normal. <laughs> yeah. Gary Indiana Jones right there, look. He said, uh, <laughs> Gary Indiana Jones. Yeah, he's got the hat on. Sorry, but, uh, <laughs> no, but, he, but it ain't normal. But, it, but that's when I knew, you know, my dad would come out, I'm like, what's going on with the service? And the whole service would be laughing. And then it was just something I told my dad. I said, Dad, I want to tell people messages, but I don't want to do it in, you know, in a way where it's just kind of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to make people laugh through, you know, social stuff. So I've always kind of kept, like, if you saw it, stuff, I always kept my, you know, my, um, you know, talk about real stuff. Yeah. Talk about all the stuff that's going on. We got the Ben Carsons and the, the Donald Trumps. It's this, you know, it's like real, you know what I mean? Real stuff. Who, who's saying this stuff now, you yeah. know? 
So it's just people, it's so much my millennial generation got to talk about the real stuff with the, the you know, people, their kids don't even know their name if they don't Google it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Everybody's stuck in the machine, yeah. you know? So it's like when you can tell the truth and show yourself through in a funny way, mm -hmm. that's what I always was, 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 that's what I always was about. Because I started, you know, in the place that where I think the truest place was, was uh, my, my pop's church. So, mm -hmm. you know. Awesome. Tony Woods, you went to dental school and uh, the Army. Was it the Army? I was in the Navy. The Navy. But I was were you funny then? Did you know you were funny then? No, I, you know what? I, I used to get offended because it's, when I would talk to people, they laugh. I mean, but oh, <laughs> like that, yeah. So I was just, I just, it, it just okay. made me lock up and like I didn't say nothing. But then when I did say something, people would, would laugh. And it, I guess it just had a different way of explaining things. And, and you, you know, people always say, you, you speaking riddles. And I'm like, mm. uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> You just didn't understand what I said, son. Just, yeah, so I don't know. So my my funny was like um, by, it, it, I never was like, da -da, look at this. I was just like, I would say something and then people would laugh. Yeah. I say, man, don't do not do that to me. You're making me laugh. I'm like, I'm trying to tell you the house on fire, dog. <laughs> 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 you know. <laughs> do speak in riddles. Yeah. That's what I got on this card. I got a uh, Tony Woods legend, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah. That this makes out. me feel young. Okay, so, no, not like that. I mean, like, the tip, tip. You know, like, at the bottom of the you know, page yeah. you know to explain what, okay. you know what, what was I, said. When I watched Tony, I, honestly, I, and I know, you know, as, as comics to, into, you know, just looking at him, I'm why he like he said the stuff you don't even, you don't even try with mm -hmm. is so funny because I'm and you call it young comic, I you know relatively young, but when I watch him, you ain't but first of all, bro, you ain't old. You you know what I'm saying? Legend don't mean you old. First of all, second, he he's a reverse king in comedy. The reverses is what's hilarious. He's a it's a misdirection. Like when he when you watch him, you don't never see where he's coming from, and that's like a when I'm I'm laughing. <laughs> You know, I'm a big fan of him. I mean, he, he's a big fan, so I'm just, uh, it's, it's, it's exciting to be here. So okay, so what I want to know is, in addition to that, this is a good segue, since you're a big fan of him. Yes. I want to talk about your comedy Mount Rushmore. Top what? four. Top okay, four. But you, like Brandon was saying earlier, <laughs> well, you know this is a D.C. show. A lot of people went to the D.C. public school system. And they don't know what Rushmore is. Help me. Help is. me explain. Yeah. Hey. Help me explain yeah. they shut what down Rushmore there. is. They shut down because I know school. that there are geniuses in D.C. Yeah, but, but a lot like of you. they geniuses, so, but not okay, in geography. Mount Rushmore, like Mount Rushmore, for all you publicly school, yeah. public school educated people, Mount Rushmore are, was a monument constructed for the top four presidents who yeah. were considered the greatest presidents of all time. So let's reverse that and, well, let's flip it and apply it to comedy. Top four. Okay. 30 seconds. Go. 30, Tony Woods. Okay. My, my favorite ones is uh, uh, Richard Pryor, uh, Bill Cosby, Flip Wilson, um, what's this guy's name? Um, Bob Newhart. <laughs> and Jonathan Winters. Okay, so that's five. That's I know, five. but I got a yeah. different mountain. Put them together. Okay. Yeah. Mount, Mount Rushmore. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Brandon. You got to say Pryor. That's just yeah. a, a given. Pryor. I'm a huge cat. I know, forget the brand, Cat Williams. I, I'm i a huge yeah. cat. Cat is okay. one of the realest dudes out here. I put Cat up there. Uh, oh, my God. For, uh, 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 Ch 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 Chappelle. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Tony Woods. Woo! Get out of there. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to introduce you to my kids, man, because they don't like me at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to take another break. And when we return, we'll be talking about one of the biggest no no's in the comedy game. What is it you say? Stay tuned. Yay! You're watching Laugh and Not Me. If I got to go to college, oh my goodness. I like discovering new things. You get to see what works for you and what doesn't. That helps you evolve as a person. You get to make like a, a supernova of skill or talent or whatever it is. I've always wanted to go to college. I just feel like that's my destiny. My name is Queen and I am your dividend.
four, three. Hello. I am Tony Woods. Catch me on the next episode of Laugh, but I f it up. So you can do it that way, though. Taking care of a family member can lead to plenty of questions. Fortunately, there's a place to get the answers for them and for you. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Welcome back. Okay, that sound means it's time to talk about those annoying little vermin that every comedian knows all too well. That's right, y'all. We talking about them joke thieves. Okay, <laughs> I got a story, but I want to hear yours first. Uh, has has have you ever been the victim of a joke thief? Yeah. Or worse, have you ever stolen any jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been a victim of a joke thieves. I learned like um in com like the first time I was gonna do uh, a comedy, I had wrote down all of these. Basically, I was gonna say everything that Eddie Murphy was doing on Saturday Night Live. Got on stage. Uh, and forgot everything and just started talking about the time that I set my grandmother's bed on fire. <laughs> and it just came out funny. And then afterwards, I was sitting with the comedians and some other guy went up there and he was, and that's when I found out comedians, we like cowboys. Yeah, you watch westerns mm -hmm. and they shoot each other. They cheat when they gamble. Sometimes they might rape one of them women in the saloon. <laughs> <laughs> but the worst thing you can be is a horse thief. <laughs> right, they do. They do it's it true. all, but it's no true. horse thieving. That's how it is with us. That's a very Not interesting. Say, yeah, we don't rape women, but <laughs> <laughs> no horse. No, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Hey, listen, no means no kind of. But see, you know, yeah. we say, I'm saying that like that's the worst thing for because a lot of times with a joke, like to you it might look like a, a simple, simple joke, but it might be something that happened to you in your life. It might took 20 years or 15 years, like you might have a joke and it's got one punchline, two punchline, but it's something from your past. That's right. You know, like I, I got a friend of mine and he tells a joke about, uh, he has five babies by five different women. He said, I got five different baby mothers. Mm -hmm. I saw another comedian do that joke. This guy ain't got no kids, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and you and you and you know what it's like. You know what it's like. Yeah, and you know this dude done been yeah. in. He done done shows with the police waiting for him to go and get locked up because of the, you know. So even though it's it's not good, it's it's not a good thing, but it's still his thing, and it's it's the pain behind the pain, the the blood that's in that joke. And then you see another joke and just get up there and. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you feel I like Farrakhan, you know, this brother's worthy of death. <laughs> <laughs> like that. How, how, Anybody ever saw your joke? Uh, you know what it is? It's like... Let him talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like... No, I, you know what it is? It's, it's, it's more, for, for me, I, it, it, here, here's the problem. I, I, one thing about comics, what, what I don't like what we do sometimes is that sometimes you say something, like he said, about your life, and they'd be like, man, you stole my joke. I was like, I'm... I'm talking about, I have people who say that I stole jokes, I'm talking about my life. Like, my, you can't lift somebody's whole experience of their life. Now, if you have a similar experience, it's how you express it. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody got, for most, I got a crazy baby mom. I mean, you know, she, <laughs> I hope she get diarrhea tonight. Listen, the thing is this, I'm being honest. Let's see, people see, people make that face when I say that, but if you see how many Instagram followers she bought off child support, listen, the thing is this, <laughs> <laughs> if you know what type of woman, Listen, I'm I'm saying this. I'm not bashing her, but I'm just saying the truth is that's my pain. Like he said, yes. mm -hmm. I like I'm a good father. I'm I'm doing hair. I'm on tour. I'm in, I'm falling asleep in PTA meetings. You know, and she only five. She in a special school because she's so you know smart. I'm I'm oh, really you know what I'm saying. Okay. So I'm yeah. She's not special <laughs> like that. I mean, she's so well, smart. Yeah, she, yeah, they had yeah, to, they put her in yeah. a. So she's doing. She's she's in, she's in, um she's only five doing stuff kindergarten first grade. She mm -hmm. can read and write and, wow. at at five. You know. Yeah. So nice. I'm saying. So we had her tested for. The, anyways, 
that's my life. That's that stuff that you can't right. live, right. you know. And that's I think it, it gets upsetting when people gotta they, they they'll blame you, especially when you do films, right? Because people think that you don't take mm -hmm. comedy serious. They mm -hmm. go, oh, you just trying to be here right. because you you trying to get an extra check. No, sometimes we gotta get stuff off our chest. People that's gotta right. know we real people, you know. Yeah. So it's like that's 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 one thing I don't like about like you said lifting people's lives. A no go. Now there's nothing new under the sun. Some comedians be like, I wrote that. That's all my time. Good night. Like, no, that's what we. You know what I mean? Good night. I'm Brandy Jackson. You, you know, you can't write a. a you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my whole thing is like lifting somebody's life is a total no no. So I, I just I agree with Tony on that one. So yeah, I had a similar experience. I was brand new, first year in comedy, and I was taking this class. You know, in L.A. It was a workshop and. The guy was like this renowned teacher, and in the back of the room was another person who does workshops, and she was doing the next workshop. And, you know, I went into my joke, because I was going through a divorce at the time, and I wrote this joke, and he was talking about the setup, the, uh, the, the setup, the surprise, no, the... The, joke, the, the setup, the joke, the punch, punch line. Right, the surprise yeah. punch. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay, I wrote a joke like that, and the joke was, you know, I recently discovered I'm in a same-sex marriage. I'm not a lesbian. My husband's a bitch. So <laughs> Chip was in the back of the room, and she heard it. And I, you know, I was like, that night we in the club, you know, at the J spot, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, she told my joke. The exact yeah! line. The and she, she messed it up. Oh. <laughs> she said, "I'm a lesbian, y'all, cause my husband a bitch." And it took a minute. Oh, I didn't get it, right? I... And I was like, damn, I ain't going to say her name. Anybody got any cocoa? Boom. <laughs> oh, my saying. God. They, like, they make white cocoa. What kind of cocoa are you talking about? It was brown cocoa. Man. It was brown cocoa. Why white? I'm just, I'm just saying. I like damn. cocoa. I like cocoa. Shots fired. Holla back. Anyway, so <laughs> we talking to Tony Woods and Brandon T. Jackson. We'll be right back. You're watching Last But Not Least, right here on DC TV. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Hi, I'm Brandon T. Jackson, but I'm Tony Woods in parentheses. And you're watching Laugh But Not Least, only on DCTV, Explanation Point. Welcome back. I want to thank our guests, Brandon T. Jackson and Tony Woods. Yeah. Yeah. Also, let's thank DJ Oxygen. And thank you for joining us on DCTV's Last But Not Least. I'm your host, Nikki Moore. If you want to find out more about what you saw here today, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at your DCTV, or visit our website, dctv.org. Remember, just when you think you've had enough, there's always room for more.